This one is all about difficulties with street photography. I just had a operation this week, um, taking out half of my thyroid. Um, so I'm recovering from that. My voice is a little bit funky, but I feel totally fine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys this video and kind of open up a conversation about street photography and the reasons why I find it and you may find it so difficult. I went to Hong Kong with my wife in 2018. I had done professional photography for a few years already, but I grew up in East Tennessee, kind of a rural area, and I had never attempted street photography. I'd never had an opportunity to really do this kind of candid thing that style and that sensibility wasn't something I really had. So during this trip to Hong Kong, uh, we're walking down alleyways and people are passing by each other and on the plane ride back home, um, editing photos and looking through this collection of images I made and there's street photos. You know, I'm, I'm recognizing in that moment, sort of in hindsight, that what I've done is basically three days of street photography. They weren't amazing photographs. They weren't National Geographic, they weren't Steve McCurry or anything, but they were street photos and they were mine. We were headed back to Bangkok at the time, so when we got to Bangkok, um, I had just this renewed interest in photography as a whole and it sort of awakened this thing for me. When we came back to America, we were living in Oklahoma and then Tennessee again. Um, and the next time that I would be introduced to street photography would be um, 2020 when I shot a video for Joe Greer, which again, renewed my interest in street photography when I saw him working and saw kind of the way that he used his hands to create uh, uh, distraction and a sort of dismissiveness to what he's up to. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the background of street photography for me. We've been living in Bangkok since December, 2021. So I've been practicing street photography about every week and I find it difficult. I find it really difficult, so I think it'd be nice to open up a conversation with you guys, with you veterans, as well as the beginners out there. I hope that you check out the other videos on my channel and please subscribe. I'd say the first reason that people find street photography difficult is uh, related to the locations. Street photography for me, just kind of a loose definition, you know, is human beings, people interacting, uh, with each other or uh, in public spaces. So human interaction, public spaces, that's street photography, loosely defined in my head. Um, so if you live in an area where there's not a lot of public spaces and there's not a lot of people and there's not a lot of interaction, you're gonna find it difficult to make compelling street photographs. My advice would be to try to find events. You know, if you're somewhere rural, there may be a fair, there may be you know, some carnival or some random event that comes to town. I know the town that I grew up in had a rod run. A bunch of old muscle cars and people from all over uh, out of state would come together a couple times a year and there would be tons of, uh, you know, people walking around and viewing cars. It's all kind of the same subject matter, but um, that's an area that I can practice street photography in my hometown is these couple of times a year that we have these big events. So um, if you don't have any events that come to town, you're really just gonna have to ask a friend or, or go by yourself to a nearby city, um, spend a couple of nights there, you know, fly to Chicago, fly to Miami, go somewhere that's interesting and just follow the people. Don't try to shoot where you are. You may try that for a while just to, to keep in practice, but um, yeah, I would just say, that you're gonna be working against yourself unless you go where the people are. That's definitely one huge difficulty with street photography is just finding the locations um, so that you can get out there and practice regularly. The next point of difficulty I wanna highlight is just camera gear. Um, I you know, started out with a Canon 80D. That was the first camera I was shooting street with. It's huge, it's like everybody sees you and um, it's not even, I don't think it's that important to have really sharp lenses or expensive gear. It can help. Um, obviously, you know, we all want to shoot with a Leica M6 uh, and, and have that sleek kind of quiet um, camera body. 
but if you're just using a cell phone, you know, that's fine. That's um, totally acceptable, but you just need to be quick with it. I think it's important to try to get as familiar as you can with the equipment that you're gonna be using when you go out to do street photography. You don't wanna go out with something that you're kind of halfway familiar with um, and then just miss a bunch of shots, which will happen and we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I would say gear is the other most difficult thing. So don't overthink it and whatever you use, make sure you're comfortable with it. The next difficulty that I wanna highlight with street photography is just people. Um, you know, like I said, street photography to me is people interacting, public spaces. Um, and yeah, you're eventually going to run into some really terrible people. Um, be prepared for confrontation, but also be open, you know? Um, we have this amazing ability, the sixth sense or whatever, to, to um, sort of reach across and, and understand each other. And um, I think if you come into a, a person's sphere of uh, activity and you bring something positive, a smile, something nonverbal even, is really powerful. So yeah, I think growing in your ability to interact with people and to uh, you know have phrases or things that are <laughs> that are I don't know it sounds so corny but um, think conversation starters you know uh, are powerful and positivity when my end goal isn't to take a photograph of somebody I'm always practicing uh, just human interaction you know and and getting to know strangers um, you know you want to be honest if somebody confronts you about taking a photograph I think that's definitely a good way to go. I've, I've lied to people about taking a photo before and it doesn't go well. Get a uh, get a, a photo book made. Just a cheap little two by three, whatever format you want. Get some photos printed, some samples, and have it in your bag or in your back pocket. So if you want to ask people to take their photo, you can kind of have a, a small portfolio, street portfolio, that they can maybe understand a little bit more, more about you and your work. Um, and you can gain some trust like that as well. So yeah, those are my tips for dealing with people um, and to maybe make that a little bit less difficult, but good luck. So the last thing that I wanna talk about as far as why street photography is so difficult is just the discipline. Um, getting out there multiple times a week, it doesn't have to be every day, um, but just putting in the hours and if you really decide that you wanna take great street photographs and you wanna be good at this, it's gonna take consistency and discipline in order to do it well. And this is something I'm always fighting with myself on, even here in Bangkok, especially towards these last months, dealing with you know health issues and everything. It's, it's hard to work up the motivation to go out in the evenings when the light is good, or early in the morning, you know, when sleeping in is easier. Especially if you're just clocking out of work and wanna go home and watch your, your Netflix show or whatever. You'll see results, you may not see it, every single day or every time you go out, it might rain on you. But you have to be willing to make a lot of mistakes and take some really, really bad street photographs and have some old random person yell at you when you didn't do anything wrong. Working past all of these things and having community to bounce ideas off of and to encourage each other to get out there and create and translate your context and your experiences into these images um, is really huge, so yeah. Just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope this added some value um, to your work and what you're seeking to make here in the future. If you try any of these tips out, please uh, leave a comment on this video or send me a message on Instagram. Uh, I'd love to get messages from people that are coming from YouTube. It's super exciting just to have that feedback. Um, so yeah, leave this video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video.